Hi, this is Amar Abdelgawad. We're going to speak today about Barlow's test. So what are the objectives for this lecture? We first would like to describe the appropriate method for performing the Barlow's test. And I'm going to show you, show you a video showing a positive uh, Barlow's test. A good source that you can use is this book. is the Pediatric Orthopedic Handbook for Primary Care Physician, written by myself and Dr. Naga. And also you can listen to the video uh, on the same channels for developmental dysplasia of the hip. In this video, you will find all the information you need about DDH. So Barlow's test is one of the two tests that we use to assess hip instability in infants. So in each newborn, we have to assess hip stability. There are two tests that we do for this, the Barlow's test and the Ortolani test. Uh, in both these tests, uh, the uh, knee is rest in the examiner palm. The thumb is in the medial aspect. The four fingers are on the lateral aspect. Both knees are holding the same time. However, you do the test on one, uh, one side at a time to uh, be able to better assess the result. Also try to get the patient as calm as possible um, so you can get, detect positive result. So the knee rests in the palm, the thumb is on the medial aspect, the, the, the lateral four fingers are on the lateral aspect. Uh, in the Barlow's test, uh, the leg is adducted, which means it's brought um, uh, uh, inward, and then uh, there is a posteriorly directed force. In the Ortolani test, uh, the leg is brought outward, which what we what we called abduction, uh, and there is a, a lat uh, medially directed force from the lateral fingers on the proximal femur. So let's concentrate now on the Barlow's test. So again, the Barlow's test, the, the, uh, the newborn knee rests in the palm of the examiner. Uh, the um, thumb is on the medial aspect. The lateral four fingers are on the lateral aspect. Uh, both knees are holding the same time. However, you do the test uh, one, one side at a time. Uh, what you do is you bring the leg inward, which we called a deduction. So we bring the leg inward, and then we push this posteriorly. Uh, what is the idea of the Barlow's test, we'd like to see if the hip is subluxable. What does this mean? It means to, we'd like to assess if we can get the hip dislocated easily from the acetabulum. So Barlow's test, nearest in the examiner palm, thumb medial aspect, lateral four fingers on the lateral aspect, we bring the leg inward, which we call a deduction with a posteriorly directed force. Both knees are holding the same time. The test is done one time, one side, one side at a time. And the idea is to see if the hip is subluxable or not, to see if we can dislocate this hip out of the acetabulum. Uh, this is another illustration for the Barlow's and Ortolani. Uh, so again, the uh, Barlow's test idea is to see if you can get the hip outside of the acetabulum. Um, the Ortolani, which will be in another video, uh, you would like to see if you can get the hip in the acetabulum or not. So the idea of the Barlow is that you'd like to see if you can get the head outside the acetabulum or not, or to, in other words, to see if this hip is subluxable or not. So let's show now a video uh, for a post Barlow's test. So if you see that uh, here's the newborn, uh, both uh, sides uh, are hold. Uh, the knee is in the palm, the thumb is on the medial aspect, the four fingers are on the lateral aspect. Both knees are holding the same time. However, the test is going to be done on one side at a time. You see here, so now we did the, we're doing the right side. So, so this is bring it inward, a deduction and push it posteriorly directed force. You can see very easily, very clearly here the positive result. It comes out of the socket. So a deduction and posteriorly directed force. So a deduction and posterior directed force. You can see very easily that uh, the head comes out. So Do you see it again? So a deduction bringing the a leg inward and then posterior directed force the head comes out of position so, so again a deduction and, a deduction and pushing the head comes backward uh, pushing the leg backwards that gives the head of the femur outside the results is very obvious here so a deduction and pushing backwards get the head of the femur out of the socket of the acetabulum let's push it for one more time here it is so a deduction and posterior directed forces get the head out of the socket, head of the femur out of the acetabulum. Thank you very much.